Right, well, they had a vehicle ejection. I tried to tackle them. I missed like a bozo. We're westbound, exiting out eastbound way, right eastbound, eastbound way. Right eastbound, Hawick Avenue. Right southbound, San Vitus Boulevard. Uh, Maple, what's your status? You good, buddy? I finally got off the roof. My <laughs> man. Right uh, southbound, cutting off of Las Lagunas Boulevard, merging onto La Puerta South, taking the ramp. I thought they were going to jump. I thought they were too. It's going to be southbound. Oh, they jump here. La Puerta Freeway. No, meant... They're going to try and break ankles. Attempted to break ankles in the slowest way possible. They did it with like crutches. I, I don't know what that was. We're now <laughs> merging eastbound Olympic Freeway, opposing lanes of travel. Continuing eastbound Olympic Freeway, taking the. No, I'm just kidding. They try. I, I don't think this, this man's ever tried to break ankles before. Continuing eastbound Olympic. So opposed lanes of travel. Cutting down toward a Popular Street. Right. Nope, just getting left northbound Popular. Right eastbound Supply again. Continuing northbound on Supply. Left westbound Vespucci Boulevard. Dude, my stomach is killing me right now. Continuing westbound Vespucci. Oh, the buff. That was insane. Passing by Merps. Continuing westbound for Spooky. Watch ATV. Continuing westbound for Spooky through Legion Square. What's up, exit? Right northbound. Poppy or power. I knew that. Uh, approaching. Uh, I forget what the hell this is called. It doesn't matter where you, where, where you turn in south on power entering through the group sex just kidding guys i have a vault run i have a tier three yeah, vault yeah. run are you fucking kidding me wow, all right two suspects are out out of a tesla we're gonna stick at the main car we we fuck it left southbound alta and that we can pick because we're not outnumbered yeah left east oh they're cutting into the, in the fucking... i don't i don't know what this line was bro what is this line Listen, listen, uh, listen. Oh. Sorry, sorry. You good? What is this? Yeah, good. All right. Uh, vehicle smoking on Vespucci I'm Boulevard. Learning, I'm learning. Ow. You're learning? You're doing west on Vespucci, reversing at like 90 miles an hour. What is this? Oh, no, I'm just kidding. We're at 100 miles an hour in reverse. Oof. I'm. You're learning? Is this your first time? Right, westbound Adams Apple Boulevard. What did he break his robbery, Cherry? Oh my god, wow. Wow. Uh, right northbound, Kaleyev. When he's your first. <laughs> <laughs> Continue northbound, Kale. Approaching San Andreas by Senior Boons. Left westbound, Senior Boons. Right northbound, Palomino Avenue. Right eastbound, Merging La Puerta. Facing southbound, La Puerta Freeway. Correct lanes. Never mind, they're okay. stopping. They braked. You have no I brake lights. You can't do. They're now merging westbound Del Perro Freeway, 155 Secondary. Continuing westbound Del Perro Freeway. Oh, you I turn again him. eastbound Del Perro Freeway. Left northbound, cutting off road, hitting a brick wall. I, I don't know what Angolia is, but BCB temporarily. What the? F they they're stuck. They're out on foot. They got <laughs> stuck. They tried to take a squeeze. They're out on foot. First time, eh? I don't know which one to go after. Uh, the one wearing blue, Kappa. <laughs> I'm sticking on the guy crossing over Del Perro. He'd be on the radio. I'll go get my cards and uh, catch up. Hey, firm. Continuing uh, westbound. Off of Del Perro, approaching Ginger. Yeah! We're still continuing westbound parallel with El Perro. McQuillan's after his ass. Stay on it. I got your car, unless this is yours. And then, and yeah, I'm fucked. 
That's my tackles. I got your lethal. Don't resist. Suspect resist and he's clear for Tazer. Go cool go back to your car. You've been on radio. Okay, I'm going. Hey, Tesla, can I call you right back? I'm chasing a suspect on foot. Sir, stop fucking running! Yeah, kill him! All right. Get him! I'll, I'll do I'm it. I'm hang up. Okay, okay, back, okay. goodbye. Hey! Hey, Blue, you okay? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm just getting this marked up uh, in case we do catch him so we Sir? have the vehicle. Sir? 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 There's a black vehicle pulling up. It's a black sedan. Get him, Aquilin! Hey, Get him! Stop, get in. Stop, Oof. stop, get in. All right, vehicle's taking We're off. Cooking them. Eastbound San Andreas Ave. Hey, boy, what's your status? You good? You, you with the original vehicle? Yeah, I'm, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Copy. Left westbound, a pair of freeway. But what if we did it again, dog? U-turning again. Can Dude, I, this car sucks. Be I, nice to me. Can I U-turn ID you? Because you do a lot of U-turns. Why is this car so cheeks? Oh, <laughs> I don't know. From Mercy no, Laporta no. Southbound. I got it from a G6er. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. Another U turn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, they're doing a lot of U turns. They're U turning again right westbound Del Perro. <laughs> hey, Boo Boo. Uh, that was nice. You, you, you said you a Q-Mail. That was nice. There. I'm going in. All right, they're going to be reversing now, facing <laughs> eastbound Del Perro Freeway. Is it your first time? Also goes for pit. Going for pit. Goes Going for pit. through. Is this your? Going for bucks. You, you said I'm sorry. This is my first time. Is is Wait. is this your first robbery? Wait, can you can you run the play and see whose shit card this is? <laughs> I have already. I'll stop goes, goes for bucks. I already know. I who need it. To I'm not to telling you. Who I already it is. know. Don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. All right, Vegas continue westbound Del Perro. Speeds are about uh, 30 40, miles an hour. We're going for 50, <laughs> going for pit. Vehicle is hauling ass at about 60 miles an hour. Opposing lanes of travel. Traffic is incredibly light. This man is reckless. Cutting off road San Andreas Avenue. Dear God, he's going to kill somebody. Then we go westbound San Andreas. Left southbound South Rockford Drive. Cross with spooky. Oh. No, just kidding. Left oh. eastbound with spooky. I need gas. I'll be honest. If you want to stop and get gas, I'm pretty sure we'll be fine. I'm just do half a bag. Yeah, go for it. We're eastbound from Spooky Boulevard. It's in eastbound from Spooky Boulevard. Left northbound Alta. Approaching senior buns. Left southbound Calais Avenue. Listen, all, all love to you guys, but like, what's the end goal here? Guys, Left where's, east where's the next checkup, guys? Is it red garage? We've circled it once. Is it red garage? It might be red garage. Is it red garage? You got someone on the prairie? You got someone on the freeway? Not yet, not yet, not yet. Okay. Oh, yeah. no, okay. All right. We'll, we'll circle it uh, one or two more times. Right? We're crossing peaceful oh, northbound Las Gunas. Oh, no. Right eastbound, no. entering through the parking garage. You know where a good one is, right? So if you go north on La Porta and then you drop down to Del Perro where you guys were. That's, that's entering through Group 6 spot. again. <laughs> Left northbound power, right eastbound integrity. Basically, entering through the integrity tunnel. The wall. You know, a wall where we can't get over, and then you get into a nice fast car, and then you just get away. Oh, this is a good song. I'm doing sap on strawberry. Right westbound, San Andreas. I know it's another Left little southbound. Us. You go to Olympic okay, Freeway, and then you go to the train station, you just run down below, and then there's a car waiting next to the gas station. Right westbound, Vespucci. Oh, well. well, we're going back to Red Garage. Somebody westbound, <laughs> Spoochie. Past right garage, I think they're trying to set up for something. Oh no, what gave it away? Right northbound Calais. Get doing northbound Calais. Right eastbound San Andreas. Goes for pit. Ankle pitted. 
Uh, San Andreas and Laferta, they're reversing. Nowhere near the speeds of the Tesla. <laughs> Vehicle's been pitted again at 10 miles an hour. Car, guys, front is it's front wheel drive. So the second you lose traction, you're, you're pretty Doing fucked. westbound San Andreas. They're pulling up next to Senior Buns. Oh, I gotta get some breakfast. food. What? Me too. Where the me too. fuck are you two going? Oh, you motherfucker! Oh, that's not. I'm gonna be honest. Guys, I'm gonna go 50 this time. It wasn't. Pretty, it not, wasn't the driver. Help, guys. Yeah. The it wasn't the car. It's it was just the, the driver. All right, they swap drivers. Northbound Cal or correction, Southbound Cali. Vehicle uh, almost pitted. We're right westbound of Vespucci. Left southbound Palomino Avenue. Left eastbound Lindsay Circus. A new road. We've unlocked a new, a new, uh, a new road. Right stop on Calais. They're hitting walls. Left eastbound, uh, Adam's Apple. They counterfeit. Oh, they maple counterfeited. Big one. Maple head is big one though. Southbound Innocence crossing over to Lower La Puerta. Eastbound. Correction, merging southbound Lower La Puerta. Uh, maple status. It's okay. It's fine. I didn't see anything. Southbound, lower the prayer down. I'm a, I'm a tier three G6, sir. Be nice. Vehicle pitted. It's tier three and he only has this car. U turn, U turn. Northbound, La Puerta. Northbound, La Puerta. Getting boxed. Something to go for box. 77s. Need 77s. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, ooh, he's he's oh. calling for 77s. Uh, currently on La Puerta next to Scrapyard. Please, guys. we might be able to like rolling box you. I'm gonna be honest with you. We, we might be able to just pull up next to you. Can you imagine if Come we on. had one more Come unit? On, dude, fucking one more unit. Uh, we're now northbound. Laperta vehicle pitted again. Vehicle pitted again. Oh my god, there's another oh, is this, car. Is this the backup? Another one. Another, another one. The they, got a, they got a two door. They got a two yeah, door for both of you. Where yeah, are you we fitting the truck? Yeah, no, we got a helicopter next. One of you boys is fucked up. Where's one of you guys going? Hi guys. Uh, he's out. Hey man. Hey, the police car, right? Yeah, yeah, the police car. The police car. The... Tackle, oh. tackle, tackle. Oh, going for cuffs. Hey, we'll going for right. cuffs. Do not resist. I'm hey, resisting. We'll go this car. Resisting. Damn it. I'll box this car. Oh, fuck. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, he's going to be on radio running on footy resistant cuffs. He He's, a truck. He's a dump truck. Go for lethal. Go for lethal. Nice try. Ow, ow, ow. Guys, guys. Uh, they're in another one. <laughs> Vehicle. What? what are these oh. local tow trucks? Oh. oh. This ain't cool, oh. guys. This ain't cool. Oh, 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 oh. 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 <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> All right. I don't know what happened. They just Beybladed the lower of the <laughs> They're fucking BCBF that. What the fuck? What the fuck is that Beyblade at? Beyblade at shit. That's the second time this happened to me that's while I'm trying to box somebody. Dude. You know what? I ain't even mad. They can, they can have it. <laughs> that one's theirs. They can crown they can have that. that one. Uh, God, that was funny. Look We're at this prepared. go. This, thing is so funny. this thing looks like. <laughs> beef jerky, at, like half chewed beef jerky. This thing looks shredded. I'm at seven. I'm gonna seventy six to nine one one about a potential exploded cornwood. Copy one five five will also be in route as well. Just uh, getting a repair because our car looks like shredded beef jerky. Nice little pits there, Chris. I, I wish I could. I wish I could take ownership. That wasn't actually me though. Engine blocks holding the frame together, pretty much. One nine seven. There is the cornwood and an exploded on fire here. Ooh. There's the guy got hit by the car. Oh, there he goes. That was successful. Yeah, I, I ain't even mad. I'm rolling up right now. Oh, let's go check cornball. Give me that strawberry gas. Oh, 
Oh my god! Oh, I'm looking at him. I have a fire extinguisher. Don't get too close to it. You're gonna burn up. What? I'm not nowhere near it. I was about to grab marshmallow and start roasting it over the fire. Uh, I carry a fire extinguisher for I'm this reason set an IV. specifically. He just okay. Oh, He's barely Confucius. Okay, I'm gonna pop an IV in here to replenish the fluids that we've just burnt out. Got a lot of burns there. Okay, I'm just gonna flush the wounds with a bit of saline. I'm gonna add some burn cream here and wrap you up all nice. Lottie, I don't wanna interrupt you. Do you want me to uh mm -hmm. you, you want me to look it on fire? Uh yeah, just okay. double check to see. Can you check her pulse and everything? Make sure that yeah, she's yeah. thank you. Okay. Dispatch one two five going for pulse check. Onward. Can you hear me, sweetie? Dispatch one two five going for injury assess. Oh god. Why did that just light back up? Guys, that are snake eyes. That's crazy. Uh, because fire extinguishers don't do shit. We gotta let them burn out. Got it. Wait, what happened? Uh, fire extinguishers, while pretty, only help with the. On fire! Can you hear me? And then it's Hi. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Okay. Wait, oh, well, I put the fire uh, in. What, what happened? Feeling? Yeah, it, it kind uh, of... Corwin was saying that you tried to kill him. So it kind of shuts down the... Like it, Negative. The it you it said this is for your campaign, the and then you the uh, you shot It'll the gas pump, up. apparently. Do you have a gun uh, on you? That, that would be oh, illegal. Uh, I'm going to go and GSR test you, okay? Go ahead. You won't find I'll anything. Learn. Her pulse is normal. She's you talking. Won't. She's burnt up. Mm -hmm. Won't okay. find any residue. Okay, I'm going to set an IV here to help replenish the fluids that you just burnt off. Okay, we've got a lot of burns. So oh, fuck. <sighs> All right. Hornball, nice you good? Yeah. Oh god, he's dead. That's why I'm not standing up. Hard to stall his boats. Yeah, I don't know. Does just get voided if he dies? Like, hmm? you can't be sure right? if he dies. If Corwin dies, dies. Yeah. But, but like, what if he's elected in I'm... and like? Well, then it goes to the second place, isn't it? Well, actually, I, I mean, theoretically, if he were to die new, new and election? they got elected in, I, I think, I think technically he would just be like eternal sheriff at that point, would he not? Maybe. There would oh, be no God. contest. Me, or... What do you mean it'd be no contest? There would be you contest the... from living people. What? Well, I mean, that's one way to get the sympathy vote, right? Oh, True. True. Do you want to try? Right. Oh hell no. Oh. Uh, could we you gotta, could you step out, step back in again, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this a common thing for you, or what's going on? Are we? Uh, it has been. Uh, Should we, just leave? Uh, we shouldn't just leave this, right? No, we probably like... not. I might. Uh, I don't know if you need to scuff impound a burnt car. I don't know like how it works with burnt um, cars. What I remember is they can get a tow truck. They'll tow it to like a parking spot and then pull it back out. It'll still be fucked up and then they can repair it from that point. I would just leave it and. Yeah, I would leave it. Yeah. Okay. Honestly. All right. Am I good? We might, are we... Yeah, we're good. Okay. We'll go and break off. Uh, leave me 23 from 125. EMS from PD. PD to EMS. And yeah. EMS has never heard from again. Oh, there we go. Uh, could you let Cornwood know that we're going to leave his car? Uh, he just has to get a tow truck to come and. Uh, Get it in. Uh, I, I, I guess brought to a, a parking lot. Yeah. Thank you so much. Dispatch. No Dispatch 15518. The floating pads in cars has been an issue with so many uh, partners. Uh, so, phasing. how do you feel about all the shared it's stuff? It's weird. Because I was kind of dropped on everybody's lap. Like. I'll be honest, man. I put my vote in. Mm hmm. 
it was for uh I I'll tell you it was it, it was for cornwood okay that's I, a lot of people were very I, I guess some people are very like taken back that oh my god cornwood in a leadership position the incident i had with the dap situation was from bones and i don't hold any mm. like negative volition toward bones however uh, i do have a little bit of concern with the fact that i have tried calling him the last three or four days mm -hmm. and i have been unable to he has not returned my calls responded to my text messages he's avoided me and mm. i feel like it's to do with the way that situation was handled and after what he did with the promotion and everything i i feel like he maybe doesn't like me and that's okay mm. but realistically if this is the way he's gonna treat this on a minor situation that really doesn't matter i just wanted to hear his side mm. of the votes what is that gonna mean for if he is put in that position Long of power term. yeah like th this is such a minor thing and it's like it feels like i'm being blindsided and if i don't know what his vision is for the pd then why would I vote for him? Then why, why would you vote for me? Yeah, exactly. So. Well, the way I look at Cornwood, right? Um, and obviously, that was a money runner that didn't want to... <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, the way I look at it, so obviously, um, my name's on there, right? Mm. Um, and I know full well... Um, I, didn't, I didn't know you were running originally, to be honest. Yeah, well, to be fair, uh, I only made the decision a few days ago, and I made it for a, and I'll be honest with you, and I'll be honest with anyone I talk to about it, I'm not doing it uh, with the intent to win. I don't think I could win um, against um, Cornwood, and probably not Bones, uh, in a popular vote. Um, they have been community policing for far longer than I have. They've been in the PD for far longer than I have. Uh, this current PD, right? So they have a lot of face time with the community. Um, so the popular vote, I know full well right now, I I can't win. Okay. However, um, I'm fully confident if it was a if it was a vote contained to the PD, um, I think I could win. Um, not easily, but I definitely think I could get very close and win with a decent just margin because um, I know what a lot of people's problems are because i will sit and listen to people um and what's up original how you doing i'll give them the very blunt and brutal opinion of what's wrong with the pd uh and in its simplest form it's not you know it's not very complicated what's wrong with the pd um and what i've said to people is for right now the pd has a morale ceiling and it is very low Right, and it will remain very low until two things are solved. And it's honestly, it's two things that I don't think I could even solve as a sheriff. I don't think Eric can solve as a chief of police because they would have been solved already. Mm -hmm. um, one is lack of equipment, i.e. vehicles. Uh, maybe you can argue the helicopter, but mainly vehicles that can compete with the, um, with criminal vehicles that are not your standards. You know 37 charity cars right yeah um the personally owned gauntlets and everything else that's an s-class car um people will feel like they can't and this is me included like i am probably i will say i am probably the best driver in the pd uh, i wouldn't I even chase... i wouldn't even contest that that's like fact yeah but i don't i don't, I don't like voting i mean i'm going to do it from now on but um i cannot compete with s-class cars any of them i can't chase a gauntlet from if it's a driver who's like close to my skill or even below my skill um i can't hang on to them for any longer than maybe a minute because this thing's brakes uh acceleration's okay but this how you doing original how you been you been good not even close not even comparable in any shape or form no definitely um and that thing that and that's something that really it it hits my morale and I can guarantee it hits a lot of people's morale. Sure. Um, and then, you know, you have other pieces of equipment that people may enjoy outside of that. Like helicopters, definitely a big one for a lot of people. Um, maybe even like stuff for like canine and all that kind of stuff. So that's one thing that attributes to a low ceiling. The other thing is manpower. Um, until we have uh, capable manpower, a lot of capable manpower, so like like around this time, I would like to still have like 15 units on duty. Um, 
until we have that and then you know around prime times 20 to 30 active units on patrol but not including anybody seeing an mrpd doing whatever but until we have that the ceiling will remain also very low because people will feel like they have no backup even like now right oh, the yeah. past like two hours we've been on, on duty even that last call it's just this is you me and, and maple yeah that's it i mean the, the, this um, is this is it yeah and it'll only get a little bit better into shift three and that's dependent like there's some days in shift three that's very good where everybody's around but people have broken sleep schedules people have lives they may not be on duty all the time uh so when it comes down to but shift three is used to it so it's not as bad but when it happens in shift one you know other things get blamed morale gets blamed how people how shift one was kind of created and formed gets blamed and then the stigma around it i don't think shift one is all that bad i think it's definitely not in a great state i think i think it's portrayed the, worse than people make it out to be i think so too i think the way i look at shift one when you compare shift one to like five years ago right shift one was the powerhouse five years ago shift one was like the shift to be in when you were when you were in shift one it was copper it was snow mm -hmm. it was dupont it was fury it was angel it was underwood it was, oh yeah there was a lot was of the best of the best yeah you either had to keep up or you were gonna get left behind mm -hmm. then you had outside of that outside of your like your your drivers and your leaders you had stubble you had you had uh pred you had um jenny you had all these people who ran the pd as well like the shift one was an absolute powerhouse for patrol and behind the scenes now it's neither of those things it's a it's a shift that i mean very regularly over the past two weeks has had less less active units in it than shift three and it comes down to you it's been gutted in that sense don't mm -hmm. have a lot of you don't have a lot of patrol heavy officers you don't have um, very little patrol heavy leaders in, in shift one. Yeah, there, there's a few good ones, but when they're not on duty or if they're in another shift or they're taking a the day off, everything's in disarray. Yeah, there's no control. Um, no, there's not. Um, but you I, can still I see like the potential McQuillan. because there's a lot of very good officers. They just need direction, leadership, and that extra repetition training, right? Um, because you can train people at an academy to save your life, but. Uh, at the end of the day when it comes down to it um holy hell um 94 on un, unless oh yeah there's been a lot of those recently oh yeah unless they have the repetition of going to scene oh scene, i, I, I was scene, saying that i clocked scene. him at 94. oh you clocked him at 94. i yeah. thought you said there was a 94. No, so. no 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 there has been 94s as well shoot races um but yeah it, there's about to be a you big call with tessa saying. so I don't think maybe the officers that have returned, you know, back to the city, they're used to that. Um, and then the other officers that also returned in shift two and shift three are used to the shift one being that kind of staple and it's just mm. not now. And they're looking for excuses as to why that is. People are going to try and find um, a cop out. The, the reality is that we had a. So I, I'm, I'm going to let you know, I, I do have to make a phone call here in a second, uh, yeah. but I, I, I do want to get this point across. A lot of things so not I, I hate comparing things to back then but it, it's it's what we have that i that i know that we can relate to yeah when there was a hot gun it was push the fucking charge and move on with it it's a three-hour ordeal and interrogation if we're pushing a hot gun on somebody the lack of consistency is so individualized nowadays mm -hmm. that it makes it really hard for people to feel confident in doing their job yeah no i agree i 100 i 100 agree um uh, i don't make know the, what to make the oh, sorry do you want to make the call no yeah. sorry i know you're talking about me if you want to if you want to like circle the block i should be fine i'm i'm just gonna I, oh I wanna, yeah yeah I'm, wherever, I'm, wherever. I'm, here, I'm here uh, no you're good you're good hello Hey, how you doing? I'm all right. How are you? I'm okay. Uh, you know, keeping uh keeping my my feet planted as best I can. Uh It's good to hear from you. I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. 
I really haven't seen you in a yeah, while. It's been a while. I, um, I sort of switched my schedule around, so I'm not awake as late as I used to be. You deserve it, though. I'll be honest, these hours are insane. Yeah. They, they get to be a lot. It, yeah, it was, um, kind of a necessary thing for mm. me to keep my sanity, my sanity going, but, um, you know, not as much of a degen as I was before either. I mean, that's fair. I, uh, I'll, I'll admit I'm not, I'm not impressed with, you know, my schedule myself, but to be fair, I, I, if I'm going to pick a time to wear this badge, I'd rather it be these hours than the earlier I hours. Do not blame me on that one either. <laughs> but things are weird. Yeah. Things are not, things are, uh, things have not been. Things have not been great, but I'm I'm letting my differences aside. I, I I have a vision in mind, and the sheriff election has uh, kind of had a it's kind of put a damper on some stuff. I'm I'm looking forward to it, but I, if one of these yeah. can, if, if one candidate does get elected, I can almost guarantee that I'm a bigger part of my vision. My vision I started in December. Uh, is probably not going to come to fruition because uh, I don't think the guy likes me, but I'm hoping that the sheriff election goes hopefully, hopefully expected so that I can try and do the things that I want to do, but I've noticed there's a lot of divide in the PD since the election has started. Yeah. That is kind of the case. Um... I heard from Cornwood that he's looking to possibly start some stuff with you. He did talk to me about that. Yeah, I, uh, I, I, I really, I really hope he gets it. I don't, uh, I don't want to sit here and say that he's the best leader. Uh, but let's be honest. I think any position of power is, you know, going to have their flaws. And I think that Cornwood has a humble head on his shoulders that. Although he may not be the full patrol cop that he is now, if he does get the, the offer, I think that from a paper standpoint and a meeting standpoint, uh, I think he's a good pick. And unfortunately in that power, <laughs> he's, uh, he's not going to have time to be on patrol. <laughs> As you could possibly imagine. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing though. I don't, I don't know if he realizes that. He is the liaison. It wouldn't surprise me if he's maybe mentally prepared for it, but not physically prepared for it. I don't know. I had mm -hmm. to talk with him about that kind of stuff, and I just am not sure that he is fully ready for what he's actually trying to sign up for. Can I ask if you, uh, if you voted for him? You can tell me you're not going to say anything. I haven't anything. voted yet. Okay. Oh, good. I have a uh, little event I'm putting together tomorrow for all, uh, the candidates to show up and play. Mm -hmm. Um, I've been running the Los Santos Derby, the horse derby. I heard about that. How's that been going? Uh, it's been silly. Uh, I haven't done a lot with it, but I thought it'd be fun to do a little competition between all the candidates. I think that'd be great. That'd be amazing. I want to, uh, I, I, I'll be honest. I don't know who's all still running. I know, uh, I heard that, I guess, Slacks is not? Yeah, he withdrew. Okay. It's, um, it's Cornwood, Bones, Viv, and McQuillan, apparently. I'm actually, Although I haven't seen McQuillan at all, so I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm with McQuillan right now, uh, but I, I'm away from him. He, uh... He actually had a pretty, like, open mindset. He said he knows he's not going to win. I'm sorry, go ahead. Could you let him know he's welcome at my thing tomorrow? Yeah, let me hear. Hold on. Two seconds. McQuillan? Yeah? Hey, I'm I'm uh, I'm just on the phone with Tessa right now. I'll be a couple more minutes, but she wanted me yeah, to let you know okay. that she wants to invite you tomorrow to, I guess, all the candidates that are running. Uh, she would love to have you there if you were available. 
Uh, yeah, it's going to uh, be uh, at uh, 5 p.m. EST. It's going to be at 5 p.m. EST. So 2 Pacific. Okay, yeah. Let's see if I can do it. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, I just wanted to let you know. Uh, I'll, I'll, right. I'll be over Take here. Yeah, you're good. Take time. Thank you. Thank you. Um, that'll be exciting. That'll be good. I'll, I'll try and maybe show up for it. It's a little out of my wheelhouse of time. Yeah. I will do my best. Yeah, no worries. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'll be honest. Aside Tessa, from that, though, is there something you wanted to talk about? Um, I guess not really, like, specifically to talk about. I just, I, I have a honest question for you. Sure. I'll be honest, a lot of my vision for the PD nowadays is uh, very different from, I guess, when we were, I guess, involved. And a lot of the vision has changed, and I'm I'm okay with that. That's that's not, like, that's not battering anything. I'm not upset where I'm at. Um, but my, my goal was to at least kind of carry on a torch to some degree. And I wanted to ask you... You have my blessing. You don't need it, but you have it. I appreciate that. I don't know if it's going to be anything like it was. It probably won't, but... No, I don't think anything ever will. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think anything will ever come close to what we had going on, but... I think you are fully capable of figuring it out and making sure that, you know, it's done properly and with respect to what came before. And I don't have any uh, reservations about it whatsoever. Okay. I appreciate that. I'm, uh... I don't expect it to be... Like you said, uh, I don't, I, I do think that things are going to be different. So it, it would, honestly, if, if my, if I were to have a dying wish to leave on the PD, uh, it would be that I could at least try and start something and let a, a legacy continue. Uh, if, if that is a possibility. Ziggy did it. You did it. Um... Our mobility scooter man did it. <laughs> yeah. But I, I'd like to... I'd like to at least have that opportunity. And I'll be honest with you. I don't think... Uh, I don't think Bones has the same vision. And I don't think... Between you and I, I don't think Bones likes me. So I'm... I, I've tried talking with him for the last four days. And he has... Uh, ignored me, don't walled me, and has neglected from wanting to have a five-minute conversation so I could hear his side of stuff. And I've texted him, and I got I got in trouble for some stuff a couple weeks ago. And he kind of pulled a little bit of a two-faced mentality. And after what he did, uh, I figured we were okay. But it's clear that he's showing his colors, and I... While I think Bones could be a good leader, I just don't know if I have the confidence in him. You know what I think? What's up? I think you don't need permission from anybody to do what you want to do. If they won't play ball, make a new game. I could do that. That's easier Later said time. than done. Can do. But if that so is how things need to be to get what you want done, then do it. You, you, you'd sit here talking to me about how, you know, like what came before manifested. Like how do you think it manifested? They made it. I think so. Don't, don't quote me on that, but I, don't I only built upon it, but they made it. 
kind of a, if you build it, they will come. That's what's going on with the sheriff's office. Working with them is a courtesy. No, you're right. I think, uh, I think my one hurdle that I just haven't done yet is... I was making a little bit of an effort, but I think I'm going to start calling and bringing people in now. And I think maybe this conversation will be that, that jump point. But my biggest regret, I guess, now is not starting sooner. Which, to be fair, is an oversight. But you're absolutely right. I think that's something well, that I can do. It's, it's up to you whether you want to put that legwork in. Because it will be harder to do than just joining up with Bones or Cornwood or whoever gets sheriff mm -hmm. it's a great place to start and I think if you can work with them I think it's worthwhile but if they refuse then do something yourself it's it's what you want to make it and maybe maybe it won't happen maybe it will who knows but you'll never know if you don't even try. If no, you give right. up because Bones doesn't like you or someone up up there just is not having it with you or whatever. You think everybody got along with Clarkson? Oh, absolutely not. Clarkson... Clarkson is and was Clarkson. And I think Give a lot... Give help if you want. Maybe I should. Maybe You'll I should. manifest it. Trust me. God, you know what's so crazy is... I, I, I hate using this phrase because I've, I've heard it too much recently. But if you had said that to me five years ago, I would have said you're crazy. Yeah. Now that we're here... Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I may just, I, I have a, I'll be honest. I have a report. There's uh, 6,000 reports and over 7,000 investigative reports. And, or close to 7,000 investigative reports. My report to start this whole thing is report, I think, 297. Wow. So, I have a lot written down in it and I plan on I, I'm gonna propose it to people but do you think do you think Clarkson would ever want to see the Rangers back I don't I don't know where his his heart's at I mean I know you that there was ask a, him I don't know when he's around I don't have my hours uh -huh. sorry well if you happen to see him before I do would you pass along my number to him sure I appreciate that he might just be a memer and a doofus but you know we'll see i guess if he'll help i mean who knows i mean it depends if he really wants to see the vision or not if not i think i'm gonna do my own thing and i think i'm, I'm just gonna start bringing people who have interest and just start doing stuff uh i think right. I, I i think it's probably the best thing is to you know show show the inspiration that's there but all right I guess outside of that, you've you've oh. been doing okay. Yeah, I um. Let me be honest. I have been struggling out here a little bit, but I joined the clowns. You fit right in. <laughs> yeah. You fit right in. You call me a clown. I well, I don't know anyone who ever did good prank calls like you. So yeah, 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 a little bit. Bro. Clowning around. I've been doing good, though. Good. Well, just know if you ever need anything, and I mean literally anything, you call me and let me know. I, I know it's out of your hours, I but I am, I, I'll, I'll always have your back. Likewise, you know, I'll always do my best to help if, if you need it. Absolutely. But you know how it is out here. It's a, it's a, it's an interesting world out there. But... 
I am going to let you go so we can try and jet back to the PD so that I don't get stranded. Um, okay. I hear some weather's coming in, but Tessa, I appreciate you uh, calling. And I hope at some point soon I'll, I'll be able to link up again. I'll try and come around yeah. earlier so I can see you. I'm going to get back into your house and start messing around. So if you need anything, you let me know. Sounds what you good. Want. Yeah, absolutely. If you uh, if you need any more money, you just give me a shout. Are you still owed any money? I have no idea. I completely lost track. I'll send you some money just to make sure you're covered. <laughs> it's okay. I have no idea. I have to check my bank records. It's okay. If you need any money, just let me know. Okay. Goodbye. Uh, bye, Tessa. Take care. All right. Sorry. That, it went longer than I expected it to, but... You're all good. Um, I haven't spoken to Tessa in like three months and she called me, so... It's all good. No worries. Hopefully I wake up at the PD. Oh, shit. You gonna be around after storm? Gonna, uh, probably not, no. Damn it. Okay, all right. No, that's that's fine. That's, um, that's fine. Uh, yeah, I don't even want to sit through the, the meeting. I'll be completely honest. Just one of those days? Uh, no, I've just been awake a good a good bit. So, uh, I mean, I could probably swing around if you want to continue talking for a little bit. Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, it's it's up to you. I kind of want to hear more more of your side of the vision, but I also understand if you're. Uh... <laughs> Hold on. Okay. That was a good conversation with Tessa. <clears throat> Excuse me. Was that canon? Oh, if you want to laugh, I, I did just DM Iris to let him know like, hey, do not, do not feel pressured to stay awake. And the previous message is, uh, was that in character? <laughs> Oh, man. Did you guys see my tweet today? Oh, my God. If they won't play ball, make your own game is... Yeah, it, it, fucking crazy. Crazy. That was a crazy sentence from Tessa. Uses Twitter in 2024? I do, motherfucker. Not that great, but you know. All right, sorry. You're married to the man that started the Rangers. Ask him. Well, I'd love to, except I haven't been able to see Ziggy in a while, but hopefully at some point we'll see. Do you know what has been showing up on my Twitter? all day today and all day yesterday is the lady at the, well, I don't even know what it is that was in New York city that was linked to what Dublin or whatever. And just the lady flashing the fucking camera. Everybody is tweeting about that shit. It was trending. And I'm like, this is, this is, this is what's important right now. Yeah, the stupid portal thing. I don't know anything about it, but every time I'm on Twitter, I'm like, I, I don't, I like, I, I've seen this 73 times in the last 40 minutes, please. Never saw the notification. I don't know why people aren't getting my notifications anymore. It's weird. Yeah, no, Rangers have been around since 2.0. It was Ziggy, and then it was, uh, 
it was Ziggy all the way till mid 3.0 and then he helped out in 3.0 but the restructure happened and then Tessa was the game warden so Flop asked Tessa more on the grace of courtesy yeah I'll be honest uh people ask about Flop's end goal in the PD if Flop loses his job gets fired if if he if he loses it all the only thing he wants the only thing he wants is to be able to carry the torch of the Rangers you know Tessa's advice actually went fucking hard Wasn't Clarkson also game warden for a little bit? I think so. What's up, Stilts? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Did you see my actual wholesome art? I did before stream. I absolutely did. It was really cute. The Rangers gang? Uh, I don't know what I would wire it up as but i i do have like a vision and hi. an idea oh hey what's up i didn't even recognize you what's what's, what's going on hi hey how are you I, I can't hear you huh you can't hear me hello Hello. Oh, hey. Hey, what's up? Just witnessed the most cooked interrogation of my entire existence. Every time there's an interrogation with 15 people downstairs, I hear the same shit every time. It was it was for Suarez. <laughs> God damn it. I You got charged with three times attempted murder of a government employee. How long were you guys in interrogation? The whole situation, I think, lasted almost four hours. In, in interrogation, probably two or three. I don't know. I, I was just watching, cause I, and I just kind of... I'll, I'll tell you about it after the meeting. Um, Man, I... What, what what was it from? Was it, like, witness or... Get a hot gun. I'm fucking done. I, I swear to God. Uh, this is his own legal firearm that came back to a, <laughs> a shooting earlier. Here, come here. Not fucking 10 minutes ago, I said, right now, I, I was telling an, an, another officer this, I said, right now, it is more often and more likely than usual that when someone has a hot gun, it's a four-hour process in the fucking cells. And I was saying how back then, it wasn't that case. If you had a hot gun, bro, you had a hot gun. You fucking took that on the chin. Yeah. I, I, I can explain more the explaining the situation is going to take a sec. So I'll, do you, do you, I'll want, tell do you, you want me to be like after do you want me to be like brutally, brutally, brutally honest with I you? I mean, my philosophy is if they have a hot gun and it comes back to attempt to murder of a government employee, even if they're the fucking pope, they get charged with it. I don't care. Here's my hot take of the century. I couldn't care any less about what happened in the in the interrogation room. I actually don't care. In fact, I don't care so much that. I, I, valid. Yeah, I valid take. I really valid just don't take. care if it, if valid it's gonna take, take four hours to tell me that a man with his is personally on firearm had a case and coming back to a scene where a cops were shot. Two guess, hours ago. Guess two fucking what? It, Was he GSR positive? Yeah. Well, so he got a, arrested at a different scene. Uh. And he was searched. And, and he, had he the was gun. he was well he was GSR positive. There was a shootout in near dick lovers and uh he was on scene got arrested was gsr positive he was saying self-defense obviously he gsr positive the gun was taken uh he's brought back to mrpd the gun was ran came back to a shooting earlier in the day like two hours earlier the same gun to a cop shooting yeah cry me a river that would have been done in 20 minutes 
What the yeah, f there was a there was a whole argument about whether I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'll be. I'm sorry you had to go through that. I. Ooh. I was trying to keep people like because like he ended up getting Murphy to come down and represent him or whatever, and Murphy kept just smoke screening and talking about other things. I was like, Murphy was. I, the I wasn't worst in the interrogation, but I was. I had to I was arrest watching. Murphy for a hot gun. But I, I was watching it, and I, every time they came out, I was like, guys, just just stay on the fucking topic of the the gun. Like all the other shit, if they want to contest it, they can contest it in court, file a civil suit, whatever. But like, because they were saying that the detainment wasn't whatever. I don't. I don't know. It was a, just a. I think I'm gonna bring. Lot. I think I'm gonna bring back. Uh, I'm gonna bring back classical times where a hot gun is a fucking hot gun. I mean, it is. And people, if they want to contest it, they can. But the for a hot gun, I'm, I'm ninety like ninety eight percent sure the burden shifts to the defendant to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that they they didn't do it, which is. Like almost impossible to do. The only time I ever let someone walk from a hot gun was after an anonymous 911 came through. I, I, in fact, instead of explaining this to you and spending 30 minutes talking about this, I'll let you look this up. I want you to look up report number. Uh, 3256 in incidents. Abilene Contralto, possession of a government issued firearm. I want you to read everything on the top of that. I spoke with prosecutors. This was the only case I never pressed to the docket. Mm. I got consent on everything. I got GSR tests. I got every, like, they held her at knife point. They told her to, uh, I guess, shoot the gun or whatever. And they stabbed her. But then the, an anonymous 911 came through. Oh, this lady tried shooting this guy, blah, blah, blah. Help me. Well, no one stayed back on scene. There's no, you know, a lawyer failing to follow stand your ground was already a question mark in my mind. She said she, she, she shot high on the side of a mountain. We found the casing. We found the projectile. She was stabbed in, I believe it was the back, if I recall correctly. If she was shooting yeah. at somebody, how, how do they get behind her? Like, I found all these little, like, bits and pieces, and I'm like, I need to speak to prosecutors. I spoke to two. I'm like, re I said, I don't want to be biased, but read this. What do you think? And the consensus yeah. was... Holy shit! Yeah, no, you, th this is a, like a, a straight up losing case. She, I, I, they asked, "Do you did you rate her?" I said, "Rated her phone subpoena everything." Yeah, it was rough for Suarez too because it was his own legal firearm. But it came back to another scene, and he had the gun and it on him. Came back to a scene, and he had the gun on him, and also it was a scene that happened three hours earlier from when he was, like, the gun was taken off of him, and uh, there was no report of a firearm being stolen. In those like in that time or even before the cop shooting there was no report of uh, a firearm being stolen so yeah it wasn't, wasn't nothing good. nothing annoys me more in this pd than hot guns right now i'm gonna be honest loki uh hot guns in this pd are a they should be they should not be this complicated i mean i had a hot gun yesterday uh, where it came back to three different incidents, two attempted murders and a seven times attempted murder of a government employee. And we were done and out in like, like 15 minutes. Jesus. Oh boy. Yep. Okay. Well, I, I I'll, I'll be honest. I'd love to know details. I, I honestly could not give any less of a shit. Yeah, so. it was a, it was a, Hello. Messy situation in some other ways with the original thing, but how so? Like the, the actual cause arrest like, on him? It's because, like, I guess. I mean, the, the, he I, said I, self. I, he said self defense. Were they I able guess, to prove stand your ground? No, but then McNulty said like he. At one point, I think I don't know if it was McNulty. Someone said that he was like good to go, and then. Hi, Sky. But he was still he was still oh, taken to MRPD, okay. and then the gun was ran. So the question was like. If you can detain someone and move them to MRPD while they're detained, or if you can't. But that has nothing to do with the hot gun. Okay, there's... In my in my opinion, there's nothing wrong with moving somebody to MRPD if they're under an investigation, and there's no... If you have RS, which you do, shots fired on a scene, individual claims, self-defense, you look at a situation, you're able to articulate and determine, is this situation... I. Uh, following stand your ground were, were there reasonable actions taken prior to the shooting 
no okay well since we're dealing with a gun and we're dealing with somebody with a, especially a legal firearm let's go ahead and bring them into an interrogation room so we can record this yeah that's that's fine to me and then at that point yes we we need to take their possessions and i 